Have you ever thought about using trading bots? I used Bitsgap in the last bull market and turned $1,000 into $50,000 within a five month period. I documented the whole process and put it in a playlist if you want to see that, along with other training videos and tutorials how to set bots up and make the most of the volatility of the crypto market. If you sign up with the link in the description, you'll get a seven days free trial with no obligation to continue. And you can also use a demo account within Bitsgap so you don't have to risk your own capital. Bitsgap. Good morning everybody, we're going to talk about Jasmine, that's right, second time in two weeks, the last time I spoke about it was just before the huge epic breakout, um, 11, 12 days ago, so I suggest maybe subscribe to the channel, because I'm telling you the pumps before they pump. Anyway, uh, what we're seeing now is that we moved up to the first area of resistance, which was that 2.56 cents, again, you know, I was telling people to buy it around here, wasn't I, uh, it pumped up, I was telling everybody to buy it around here, it pumped up, and now it's reached exactly the top level of resistance exactly but i don't think it's over but if i were you and if you were me and if you were trading this you should have sold here and here but again you do what you do i do what i do the reason i don't think that there's too much to worry about on this one if you're looking to hold it for the lottery ticket that's what we like to call this coin because let's face it it is a lottery ticket all the way down you know from and this is just binance's chart this on i think even on gate io was valued at some point of like six dollars which is ridiculous uh, to see it trickle all the way down to 0.2 of a cent from six dollars that is horrendous um but since then it managed to change um we caught on to the idea of it uh, being a tradable coin around these areas where it was responding to ichimoku cloud setups and signals and um, we had a break above uh, all moving averages and a closure above them uh, for for the first time ever Around here, this is where we were saying I think uh, Jasmine is changing its behavior. It's around about half a cent. It came down to do a golden cross retest. We'll just extend this so you can have, have a look at the actual um, chart itself. Golden cross, move up, consolidation, a bit messy, remained above the 200 simple, uh, and then powered on through. And this is where the really big move has, 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 uh, has really kicked off. Moved all the way up to 2.5 cents, started to consolidate. Uh, and again, like I say, a couple of weeks ago, I was saying, I think we're going to make another route, move up to 2.5. And then the final target will be up here at 3.7 which is exactly where it's been rejected from. Now, uh, two weeks ago, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I was talking about it around these areas uh, and looking at the chart, I would, have, I would have imagined most of you would have caught it on that Bollinger Band itself there, the center of the Bollinger Band, giving you the first move of 31% and the final move of 91%. Not bad, not bad. Now, if we look at this chart, then we recognise that it has changed its um, its uh, behaviour. This isn't a down only chart anymore. This would appear to be an up only chart. If you think about it, it it managed to break out from 0.2 cent and it's gone all the way up to well, getting close to 0.4 cents. It's, it's an enormous amount of gains for a coin which was well, a complete write off. It's a 10x there from the bottom to the top. A thousand percent, you know, that's not bad. That's okay. Not many coins have done that and uh, If they have done that they've not continued to rise up to new highs now I saw on my telegram which is something you might want to join so subscribe to this channel join the telegram and all, all the other stuff And if you want to take it one step further join the patreon where we do live streams and look at as many charts as possible so we can get ahead of the game Um. There was a, there was a, a a post that someone showed me. I think Binance actually posted it, saying that there's some now there's some kind of connection with iPhone and Jasmine. So that has definitely helped this move up. But recognise that we were in this before it was moving, and so the technicals also play a, a big role too. Normally, when something makes the, the you know a pump based on some news, it gets faded. But this one has continued to move. So let's have a look at the. Um, other setups that we've got. So when we look at the um, Ichimoku cloud here, on the weekly, uh, we've broken out here and uh, we have a pump signal. It's just a standard pump signal. And the pump signal will take you up to the well, the major level of resistance, which would have been between here and here. So I think that as far as the technicals are concerned, there's reason enough to take decent profit around here, which is what I've advised you know some of my closer patrons who are on like the... The, the, the middle and the higher tiers and other people that I help manage their portfolio, I've told them to take profit here just, just because that is the trade, you know. And if you want to hold for Hopium, you can. Now, like a lot of people I've told to, 
you know, maybe sell half, 75%, leave the rest which is a lottery ticket that way you've obviously you know cashed in loads of money at that point and uh, the rest is a risk-free hodl to be honest because it's free money but there's evidence that it's going to keep going so you know the daily's good with no bearish divergence on the rsi we've only got one drive of bearish divergence on the money flow index which is good and um, the weekly again is still strong now if we have a look over here on the three day we had the uh, the pump signals all the way back down from half a cent which is where things were getting really interesting we've now got a, a golden cross as well on the on the three day so if my if i was to make my best guess which is you know not how anyone really should trade but my best guess as to how this is going to play at this point based on what i've already charted in a sober rational state um which is how to trade really you know you you create your setups uh, uh, with a sound clear mind and you create your exit points with a sound clear mind so no emotions get in uh, we've had take profit one and two so for me personally I, my trade is completely out uh, now i'll be looking for it to come back down again whether the market is bullish or bearish at this point we don't really need a bullish or bearish market for this to probably consolidate anyway and there's two obvious places for it to come to first would be down here back down to uh, 2.5 cents and the second would be uh, somewhere ar along this moving average you know this uh, any one of these on the three day which is again a, still a strong setup which is why i think you know a huddle is still appropriate but the majority of this move for jasmine has been done um which means probably a retrace from the from the top of the resistance here maybe 30 percent maybe 44 percent and at worst maybe about 60 percent and this is over a bit of time so I, i'm not saying this to ruin the party i love it I, I absolutely love it which is why i make videos you don't see me make videos on particular altcoins all that often i do it from time to time um, and i found that recently it's been there's been quite a lot of decent setups which is why i've made a few here and there you know about you know the meme coins or whatever you know icp there's a there's a few with good setups so i'll make the videos occasionally um but jasmine did shine out and i was being asked to make that video for ages and i held off until i saw something valuable on it and then i made the video so i'm now making the video now saying that i think that whatever i said on that video has now been met which is <laughs> But basically all I said was Jasmine will pump from here and then possibly to here. So now we've seen that, what do we do? We take the profit, we reassess, but you know, we take we take that profit, we we, we cash it in, we enjoy it, uh, and then we wait for Jasmine to show us another sign of life. Now I'm hodling some of Jasmine, it's a big hodl for me, but this was a this was a trade, a very decent trade. You know, ninety percent within a couple of weeks. You can't complain with that. And now I'll be looking for the consolidation and then probably continuation. So, you know, trading is a, a you know, it's a tricky business. It's not for everybody. You know, no one really knows. Like I say, this one's worked out quite well and it could break out from here. And if it does, it's going to go absolutely bananas. And, you know, you'll look back and go, oh, should I never have sold? You don't have to sell. You do what you do. I do what I do. I'm just presenting this chart to you once again because, you know, I, I told you that there was likely to be a pump. It was a really good chart you know one of the best altcoins out there at the time a couple of weeks ago now we're just making a follow-up video saying that it's hit both major targets which is fine and um, but i don't know if it's going to break out or break down i don't really know i'm just concluding you know jasmine part two you know which is successful trade what next probably consolidation and then continuation that's what i reckon is going to happen look <laughs> let's just let's just think about what we see here we've got all these other coins that have gone up and gone down this one's gone up and it's gone up and it's gone up and it's gone up and it's gone up so it's it's pretty epic it, this is this is really good um and I, I want i want to put it to you there that i am hodling this to the max well not to the max i put in a put in about a, a grand at half a cent and so i'll keep that but this trade, the trade I was talking about two weeks ago, is, is done. There's two things there. There's a hodl and then there's a trade. The reason I keep the hodlers because I bought from what I consider to be a significantly low level. Don't want to get shaken out of that. Even though I'm expecting a pullback, I am, a, I am expecting higher. So a hodl is a hodl. It's hold on for dear life. You, know, you ride the volatility. You, you wait for much higher prices. But the video I made two weeks ago was about a trade. And the trade is now completed. Sometimes I get this. 
And these in the DMs going, why, if you think it's hit its top, why don't you sell your hodl? Well, it's a different strategy, isn't it? It is a different strategy. Of course, I could sell my hodl and then buy the hodl back, but that's not what a hodl's about, is it really? I have to sort of reiterate that I don't know, no trader really knows, which is why a hodl strategy is usually, you know, a, a winning strategy as well. You just got to ride the waves. But the trade from, well, 11 or 12 days ago is now complete. Right, on to the next. Let me know in the comments what what altcoin you think has a good setup. And if it does have a good setup, like Jasmine did, then I'll make a video on it. If it doesn't, I probably won't. Uh, otherwise, join the Patreon. Links in the description below. We look at as many altcoins as we can within a two-hour period. You let me know what you want. I'll, I'll, I'll have a look at it and, and uh, see if we find any gems. Until then, though... The market's pretty much sideways. I would expect the market to uh, continue with its up. Um, and uh, that should be going on next week. Looking at the dominance chart, you're still rate, you know, waiting to come down to this 53.5, 53.5% uh, dominance. Uh, oil's coming down, which is good. The S&P actually came down a lot. I think a lot of this was to do with the Trump thing. And then rebounded uh, massively. Which I also think is to do with the Trump thing, because Trump got, well, done, didn't he? Found guilty, but then he went up in the polls. So it is interesting. It's definitely interesting how we're responding to these sort of things. So that's my interpretation. We saw a, a pullback and then a decent bounce all off the back of that. And I think, I think it's all good for the market. I, and, I, and I actually think that next week we're going to continue moving up. Whether altcoins outperform Bitcoin is a different story. Maybe that's for another video altogether. Uh, but things do look relatively promising across the board, I would say, for continuation. And I don't see any reasons to be massively concerned. Um, no, Bitcoin currently struggling with its uh, Bollinger Band. But again, this, these are videos for... Yeah, these, these, yeah, these are, they, 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 this is information for a different video altogether. So yeah, it's going to be a bit rocky probably between today and tomorrow. But uh, like I say, if you've taken the profit... You need not worry. Up is as good as down and down is as good as up. It's all good. We wait for the next setup to materialise and then we pounce on it like a house cat on a ball of wool. Right, I'll leave it with you there. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.